print house guys. So in this video, it's just a banner printing on the Roland BN20. Um, I just wanted to show. I just wanted to show what it, how long it would take, and uh, to print a 16 by 40 inch long banner. Now it doesn't matter. Let me adjust this. It doesn't matter how wide because it it's going to go full travel anyways with the uh, the head. So that just shows you what it would take to do uh, 40 inches by whatever. Because it travels, the BN20 travels back and forth. So if, you, if I'm going to pinch on my latex, which I kind of had it set up for a different job printing uh, decal. So I didn't want to throw the batter back in there because, you know, it's heavy. So I figured let me just run it on the BN20. And uh, it was just something for my garage anyways. And um, that in the video up here, uh, or here, I don't know, wherever I, I edit that, um, it's going to be fast forward, but I show the timestamp in there. So it took about 17 and a half minutes, roughly, to print that banner. Now, if I were to print one banner on a latex, it would take, you know, what, three minutes to warm up, to get ready, maybe five minutes to print, maybe, and another three, three minutes to uh, cure. So really, you're not spending that much time. The only benefit, really... To do it with the latex mainly if you're doing more than one you're gonna you're gonna print a lot faster because you're doing more you know what i mean consecutively so um and also the drying there is absolutely no drying with the latex so you could print and pack with uh with this one and i'm finding out that it's drying faster than i thought so you probably could get away with drying but i would definitely not pack them in a sealed bag like i do a lot of mine um for a couple hours you know you could get away with it. I mean, I, I would be willing to test that, but um, that way, you know, when your customer gets your banner, it's it's not all messed up. So, um, but BN20 is very capable of that. 17 and a half minutes to print a 40 inch by 16. So, I mean, 20 minutes, really, if, if you sell a banner between 20 and $40, that size, you, you two, two, three an hour, you're definitely making money. I mean, like I said, it's, it's just printing while you're doing other stuff. So it's not, you're not like sitting here um, doing stuff with it. It's just printing while you're doing the other stuff, getting your boxes ready, working on one banner, getting it ready while your other one's printing, and then you just keep pushing them. So you definitely can make money printing banners with the BN20. No doubt about it. I, no question about it. And uh, the color is going to print a little bit brighter, less grainy um, than the latex. But for a lot of the stuff, the vector solid, stuff like that, like I don't worry too much. If I was doing photo, the photo would, would higher resolution. But that was 17, sorry, 720 by 720. That was the fastest print on the BN20, the bi-directional. Now, if you want to do like a high definition, you know, photo print on banner, then you would do like 1440, 1080. I mean, you would do as slow as possible. And then linear printing also. So, but, you know, in this video that's playing, it's just showing you that you're, it's the BN20 is very capable of, of producing banners and making you money. The only real downside is the size so most of my banners are between 14 and 18 that's just how i price it because i get good pricing and when i design these banners if i get a customer that wants a bigger banner obviously i'm going to do it on my latex so you're limited on that size but the width you can go pretty long so that's not an issue um but you know if you can get away with selling you know 18 inch by 48 banners all day long god you're gonna make money on that you know um for the people that are going to ask what banner material I use, well, okay, that was HP Latex, sorry, HP Prime Matte Banner. That's what I used right here. Now, it's because I already had it. I didn't buy a roll for this. I just cut it down. Um, I just cut it right off my machine. Actually, I just pulled it out yesterday, and I just cut it. So I already had the, the piece ready to go. Um, and I just wound it up on a quarter. So I just wound it up on the core and attached it with tape. And then when I got to the end, because I was getting close, I just cut it off when I saw it. No big deal. I think you might have seen that in the video. So, but the BN20 is very capable of uh, printing banners. Um, and they print really, really vibrant, really good. I mean, it's equal sauce, so I mean, it's going to do that. Um, and the BN20 has phenomenal resolution. But that was only 720 by 720. So, but the purpose of the video is just to show you that, you know, you could do banners. It's not... You know, there's nothing different, nothing special. I use a regular profile, um, generic profile in VersaWorks with uh, True Color 2 or 3. I didn't really do anything special. So, um, and it seemed really dry 
um, when I put it on the table. So, I mean, probably can get away with packing that right away. I mean, remember, when the print starts, you already got 15 minutes of dry time by the, the first part. So, uh, But that's it. I just want to do a video being a 20 print banners. Very capable of making money on it with this thing, guys. Um, you just got to find, source the, the banner material. I could do a little research. I have not bought any for it. I Like I said, I just cut down my HP Prime Matte uh, banner. So, but um, if, once you get the, the banner material set, you're good. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to look for a roll just so I have it on, on hand as a backup because if I'm running something in the latex, I don't want to stop what I'm doing with whatever it is. I can run on a 20. So, um, that's it. Just wanted to show that. Like, subscribe, hit that notification. If you got any comments, drop them in below. Hit those affiliate links. Those help me out. And um, hit that thumbs up, guys, for sure. And uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, that way you get access to the videos as soon as they're out. Hit that notification bar. So, uh, I'm Ken, the Print House. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.